Well, hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, uh, and we're coming to you today from the Renewable Energy Plus Southeast Regional Solar Conference. Now this afternoon I'm joined by Ed Hecox from Northern Electric Power, and we're going to be looking at the new Northern Electric Power Microinverter Solution. So Ed, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for the chance to talk to you guys, share with your audience, uh, the installers and consumers, a little bit about microinverters. Uh, we can talk about the merits of the microinverters, what is NEP trying to do in the market, and thank you for a chance to talk to you guys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the reason we're here is, is to, to look at products exactly like yours, new products that are coming onto the marketplace. So tell us about, about the NEP line of microinverters. Well, so NEP's been in the microinverter business for about 10 years. We've shipped to 35 countries, been active in the U.S. Uh, we're growing quickly in the U.S. now, though, uh, challenging the top-tier incumbent microinverter company everyone knows is Enphase but they have such a dominant position, there really needs to be a challenger to keep them honest, make them sharper, and also bring value to the homeowner and consumer with uh, lower cost and more efficient, low labor uh, products that perform very, very well against Enphase. So I can talk to you about how we're doing that. Yeah, sure, I mean, I'd, I'd like to understand, I, I see what appears to be three different size of microinverters that you have, as well as the PV guard, which is your rapid shutdown solution. Right. So, uh, where would you like to start? Well, we can start with the microinverters. Uh, that's, that's a separate category from rapid shutdown. Our rapid shutdown solution is more for commercial applications, optimized for commercial rooftop. Uh, the microinverter is ideal for residential, of course, and small commercial. Uh, we do have uh, three different products. The most popular product in the U.S. right now is this guy. It's a uh, very tough, robust, dual panel microinverter. So a couple things about NEP that's a little bit different from Enphase is each of these microinverters would address two PV modules. So you get cost economic uh, benefit there, lower cost per watt, lower cost per module. Uh, the other thing about NEP is we're driving the power, the AC power output up. Uh, Enphase has always been behind the AC power output capacity. Uh, as DC output or DC wattage of these modules is going up and up and up, you need a microinverter to keep up with that energy output, to keep up with that power conversion. So the output on our highest power product is up to 400 watt AC. So that means it can support modules up to five or even 600 watt DC. Um, with these dual power products, you can support two modules in one. Um, the other thing that's interesting about NEP is we integrate the AC cable. So it's integrated with the inverter. That means there's less work for the installer. And you can simply install these by daisy chaining one, connect to the next, connect to the next. It's very simple for the installer, less labor, fewer parts for a distributor and installer to deal with. Um, so it, it just makes it a little easier, faster install and lower cost. Yeah, absolutely, and that, that does make a lot of sense because what we're seeing now is that the, the, the solar modules themselves, the power ratings, I think pretty much everything we're doing now is 400 watts and above, yeah. whereas if we're, if we're using an Enphase microinverter, the most we're going to get out AC power is about 350 watts, maybe 360 watts uh, right. for, for a short period of time. And so I could see where something like this could help us avoid that clipping loss where, you know, if you have a solar panel that's capable of putting out, let's say, 400 or 440 watts, you want an inverter that's going to that's gonna be able to keep up with that as, as, as best as possible. Right. We have a dual microinverter that's two times 400 watt AC. So we're basically eliminating the paradigm that's been in solar, driven by Enphase for the last 10 years, that it's okay to have clipping. Actually, you want your inverter to be able to keep up with your high power modules. There's no need for any clipping whatsoever. The incremental cost to have an inverter have higher power to keep up with the module is not high. There's no need for any clipping whatsoever. So our, our devices are higher power to make sure the homeowner's not gonna have that lost energy harvest, losing that money. Uh, there's no need for that. And because of the economics of two modules covered by one microinverter, the cost of our microinverters is almost half the cost of Enphase, to the, depending on the channel, the installer, but the consumer should save money by using our product. The installer should be able to earn a higher profit margin by using our product. And basically, one of our fundamental goals is to be a strong enough challenger to Enphase and SolarEdge so that the, uh, the, the, this duopoly in the marketplace is um, spread out and the market share is spread out so it's a healthier environment for the solar industry. Okay, well that, that makes a lot of sense. So, 
you know, folks, if, if you're a solar installer out there, maybe you're, you're working with uh, Enphase or maybe Solar Edge right now, um, if you're looking for a way that you could still remain price competitive, um, but, but move to a micro-inverter-based architecture, perhaps this is a way to do that. Absolutely, we had reviews uh, yesterday in Florida with a top tier national distributor. We did the math, kind of keeping an eye on what's going on with Enphase microinverter prices going up. Uh, installers and distributors are looking at us to be a strong alternative. We did some quick math and it looks like we'd be able to save them about 20 cents a watt. So very significant savings on a, a per watt basis by utilizing the NEP platform. So Ed, um, what kind of monitoring capability comes with the, uh, the NEP microinverter system? Just so that, you know, a lot of homeowners, they want to be able to see that each panel's working and be able to track each panel. How does that work with your solution? Uh, monitoring is integral to the whole inverter platform. It's very important that consumers are familiar with microinverters because that is, that is the source of the data flow that they would then get to see. Um, we have a web-based uh, uh, page that they could go visit to see the performance of their array and every microinverter actually. Uh, and then there's a mobile application as well where a consumer can check in and see how their array is doing. Okay, great. And as far as how you hook up at the home, is there is there like a Wi-Fi or is there a cellular chip that's built into the, the solution? How does it how does it report back? Uh, the most common way these days is through a Wi-Fi interface with a person's uh, network at their home. Um, there also is a cellular option if, if the installer prefers that. Sometimes they do. But uh, Wi-Fi works very well. The data actually flows from the microinverter through the AC power line. It's called power line communications. That data actually flows through the home <laughs> into a central spot where we have a gateway that receives all that data and then can share that data to the internet. So it's um, super efficient and effective uh, for both the installer and the consumer. So folks, if you're looking for a, a very cost competitive microinverter solution, uh, the NEP, Northern Electric Power microinverter is something that you may want to take a look at. Um, Ed, w where can they find these now if they're an installer? Well, we're working with CED as a national distributor, Rexel, there's also several regional distributors around the country. Uh, we also have our own inventory to make sure we have solid fulfillment for distribution. Generally, the best place for the installers is to check with their, their national and their, their regional distributors, make sure that they're working with NEP. If they're not, they can go to our website and then contact us. Excellent. Well, we'll, we'll make sure that we get a link in the description down below if you guys want to do some more research. Uh, of course, uh, if you're getting good information, uh, guys, from the information that we have here on the channel, uh, consider subscribing to the channel if, if you haven't done so already. Uh, our goal is to really get you the best information if you're researching solar options for your home. Uh, and of course, if, if you're a solar homeowner and would like to look at some specific designs or specific numbers for your home, um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below, and we'd be happy to set up a short virtual call with one of our designers here so we can see what options would be available for you. Well, Ed, I, I really appreciate you taking time to chat with us. Is there any, anything else that the audience should know about NEP and your, your products here? Well, you can check out our website. Um, it's uh, just do a Google search, NEP, it's Northern Electric Power, NEP Microinverter. You can find our website. There's information on there that consumers could find useful. Definitely installers and distributors would be find useful as well. We have some videos on YouTube as well we can share. Great. Well, folks, that's it. This has been an introduction to the NEP Northern Electric Power uh, Microinverter. Uh, as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.